this is one of the fragments. Hi guys, I'm Yenomite and welcome back to Somnatica. So today we're gonna do something different. Today I'm gonna show you how to find the mobile Ryoko Bay. The bay that is basically the bay. The item that's basically needed to make uh, almost all of the vehicles in Subnautica. The At the moment the uh, Sim Off, the Cyclops and if, if you have unlocked it, the Exosuit. Now the thing is, a lot of people have a little bit of problem with finding that thing. So I'm here to help you. Before you're gonna go on an expedition to find the mobile vehicle bay, you need to know that you need to wait for the Aurora to explode, otherwise the wreck may not load, okay? Wait for the Aurora to explode, well actually I would be surprised if you manage to get ready before the Aurora explodes, but hey, so there are some professional players out there so actually they are capable of doing so. So before you go, you need to get a little bit of preparations. I recommend that you need to have the scanner, that's like the most needed thing. You need to have the scanner. Uh, I also recommend that you're gonna have a air tank. Now, I always go around with three air tanks. It slows you down, yes, if you have more than one, it slows you down. Uh, however, I have the sea glide as well. The sea glide is basically my, my speed boost. And the air tank is just supposed to keep me keep me alive on the water. So basically, could try to do this with one air tank, but without sea glide, it may be actually be a little bit too difficult. And once you have the sea glide, then actually having more than one uh, air tank doesn't actually matter. So you get the drill. I have three air tanks. I have the sea glide, which you can find in the shallow waters, I believe. Uh, batteries for this uh, for this sea glide, just in case you get lost and you just have to like want to more, uh, explore more. Uh, optional is the repair tour because the place we'll be going to is the wreck. The wreck inside of it has other stuff that you can scan with the scanner. If you don't feel it, like you want to do everything in one go, you want to return there later, then the repair tour is not needed. But if you want to go there and finish the entire wreck in one go, take the repair t uh, repair tool as well. The flashlight is optional uh, since the sea glide generates light as it has built-in flashlight, you won't actually need it, but if, if you like feel like it, you can take it. Uh, the knife is also optional, since uh, most of the enemies you're gonna find there is gonna be the uh, sand sharks, which is better to avoid them and run away from them than fight with them. However, do you have the possibility that you're gonna probably try to fight with the uh, little annoying piranhas or whatever the name is. There's one more thing that is actually like optional. It depends on your equipment, on, on your playstyle. I don't use it, but I believe some people may actually try to use it. So for the get this item, you need uh, titanium mostly, and you need to go into your fabricator and look for something into the equipment. In the last two sections, you have something called floating air pump, and you have the pipe. Those are the items that have been changed in Subnautica since the very beginning of the game. Basically, what it is, it extends the possibility for air to travel to you. So you're supposed to just make a little bit of those things, and with it, you'll be able to make yourself a little bit of network from the surface uh, to the deeper corner of the sea and basically you won't have to like swim every single time towards the surface in order to, to catch some air because well you can possibly drown. The v mobile vehicle base spawns next to one of the wrecks and uh, the wreck is located next to life pod 17. Now to get the information where the life pod is you need to repair the your life pod, your own life pod and then you just have to use the communication day. Sooner or later you're gonna get this information and you're gonna save the signal with the coordinates of LifePod 17. Now let's assume for a second you don't have this item. That's still easy. You just have to do a little bit of tricks. Now also, uh, you probably noticed that I don't have the radiation suit. It is because the radiation suit is not needed for this wreck. And uh, the, 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 the radiation itself is generated out, um, around the Aurora, but the wreck we are going to is far, far away. And the radiation just there doesn't exist, so it's completely fine. Now you're gonna start in the shallow waters like everybody else. Uh, thing is, the life pod where you start always has the possibility that it's gonna spawn in different places, always. It always has the stupid thing that can spawn in different locations, that is completely fine. So most of the people, to my understanding, spawn more or less, I think, somewhere here. Yeah, this is the cave, so basically most of the people spawn somewhere around this place. Yeah, next to the next to the kelp forest. Oh, sorry for the little lack over there. So you should see the aurora, aurora such as this. Okay, if you see the aurora like this, you're supposed to turn around. You have the aurora on the back. If you have the compass, like I have it on uh, on the top of the screen, then you select the aurora to the east. You're supposed to go to the west, and you go. Keep swimming to through the kelp forest. Now just try to avoid the starkers. The thing is, I highly recommend that you do this during the day. Since during the day the stalkers are less aggressive. Uh, if you're gonna try to swim 
through the kelp forest through the night, it is possible, it's like no problem at all. But the stackers are like way more aggressive during the night. And also I don't know why the game still loads like crap. <laughs> There's nothing I can do with this thing. So basically, also, yes, keep in mind that this is uh, recording during the experiment. Uh, this is the experimental mode of the game. And this is still in the early uh, access. So things may change. And as you can see, I was not doing a thing. I was just swimming towards me. Towards me. I was just swimming forward and I got into this wreck. Now the... Oh! Hi, how are you? <laughs> so, the life pod 17 is over there. This is the same life pod if I'm gonna put this thing here. See? This is the one. So now, we need to get a little bit of preparations. Now, the thing is, if you want to explore the wreck completely, uh, from top to bottom, you need to remember that there are like two entrances. There's entrance number one, which is like quite easy to spot. But there's a problem with the second entrance. The second entrance is over here, behind this, um, this parts of the outer. So you need to like actually go a little bit around, and you can just use this hole and get inside, right? Uh, one of the doors... Oh, in the other section. One of the doors on the other section is damaged. And you can use the repair tool in order to repair it. So that you'll be able to explore the the entirety of this of this wreck. So, in, I think in the last section of the wreck you have the fragments for the exosuit. Which is, well, if you're gonna get inside of this thing, it's like really hard to miss it anyway. So let's try to deploy the pump. You get the pump. You throw it under the sea, if I could only remember how to do it actually. There you go. And now with this thing, you're supposed to use the pipes, right? And now with this thing, you're supposed to do yourself a little bit of connection. You drag this thing from the surface down here, and as soon as this thing stops moving with you, you press the left, uh, the right mouse button, and it deploys, and just keep moving, and keep moving, and keep moving, and keep moving, and just like me, okay, there you go, beautiful. Now with this thing, you can basically make yourself a lovely pipe to the very bottom of this thing and you don't have to like risk your life <laughs> if you die or something like that. This is basically very easy. Just remember when you finish to take this thing with you because you may actually like need to later on in the game. Uh, let me just make one more because I don't really need it. There you go. And now, air is replenishing nicely. So, if all of a sudden you overdo the exploring and you need to evacuate quickly before you're gonna get to the surface, notice that the distance to the surface is quite big. Without the sea glide, you may actually have a problem to get there. Anyway, let's get to the uh, to the point of finding the mobile vehicle bay. Now the thing is, Subnautica has received a lot of updates in the very beginning, right? Um, at the very beginning, every single item in Subnautica was in form of a box, like a white safe type box. Now that is not the case. Most of the items are actually like items. They actually have a model. So has the mobile vehicle bay. To find the mobile vehicle bay, you need to look for fragments around the wreck. Most of the time they spawn around the wreck, if I could only find said fragments. The problem is that the train, most of the time, spawns exactly the same. However, the wrecks have this stupid habit of spawning a little bit different each single time. So you just need to like start exploring. Now, if you're gonna go over here... Okay, I can already see that we have the fragments over here. Sweetness! So this, uh, if I remember correctly, yeah, this is the mobile vehicle bay. This is one of the fragments. I think this is the uh, spot where the little robot hides. With, like, if you're gonna build this thing and actually, like, look at it, this is like, gonna be, yeah, this actually looks like this thing. This is, I think, the platform where you stand when you build stuff, I believe. Uh, and there should be, like, one more fragment over here. Oh, there it is. I think this is the control panel. Yeah, this is the control panel. So, basically, with those... Shit. <laughs> Basically, with those three simple steps, we've managed to get ourselves the mobile vehicle base. So now the only thing you need to do is go back to your base, because the, uh, the blueprints should be already unlocked. If you're gonna go into the blueprints... Yeah, the blueprints are already here. So now the only thing you need is Titanium Ignite, which needs uh, 10 Titanium. You need Lubricant, which needs uh, the Seed Clusters, I think 2 or 3. And you need a power cell, which just needs uh, a battery, and the battery needs, on the other hand, copper and, I believe, the acid mushroom, and then the power cell itself needs the battery and a rubber, I think. I'm not sure, don't quote me on that, actually. So yeah, now we have the vehicle bay, and now we can build it, and hopefully you'll be managed to make yourself the Simov, because, honestly, traveling around Subnautica without a Simov it's a pain in the ass. It's, well, it is possible, but then again, you have to like carry yourself a complete storage of, of uh, batteries, and that's not the point. Your point is supposed to explore and have fun, and actually, I really don't see you escaping from a Reaper Reviathan using a Siglite. 
Just saying, you know, from my own experience. Anyway, this is all the stuff I have for today's episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked the episode, please press the like button. It helps a lot. And I hope to see you all in the next video.